farming and agriculture in Zimbabwe have long been associated with uneducated workers, primarily from Mozambique and Malawi. However, times have changed, and many Zimbabweans in rural areas now rely on farm work for survival, despite meager salaries. The good news is that the National Employment Council for the Agriculture Industry, NEC Agriculture, has been working to improve conditions for these workers. So my assessment uh, is that uh, since we developed the strategic plan, the five-year strategic plan for NEC agriculture, we've seen a significant transformation in the conduct of their business, especially focus. By looking at the four or five uh, strategic pillars that we chose, uh, that they chose. Key benefits for farm workers, improved wages, NEC Agriculture has established minimum wage schedules for farm workers' life assurance. Farm workers can now access life insurance policies. Pension plans. NEC Agriculture has introduced pension plans for farm workers. People underplay the role of agriculture and the number of people that it employs. But when you look broadly at the numbers that we're here today and the sectors that they represent and what the ministry said is that the agricultural sector is a huge sector in terms of uh, GDP uh, contribution. So I think the more organized the industry becomes, uh, the better it will be for our economy. And I, I mean, without uh, uh, going into any politics or of that sort, the simple point is that the only people who are going to grow our country are ourselves. You, you, you spoke passionately about uh, the NASA contribution and yeah. the benefits. What, what, what's your take to that, NASA? Yes. Mm. So I think we must accept in our lives that uh, our working lives will one day come to an end. And when that happens, uh, I know that in the agricultural sector there are no pension funds. There could be one or two in the specialized industries like tobacco, etc., etc. But for the generality of the agricultural sector, there are no pension funds. So we rely on the national pension fund, i.e. the National Social Security Authority. Now, that pension fund uh, is a fund, and clearly it is incumbent on each and every employer to remit, to collect, deduct, collect and remit those contributions to NASA so that they are invested in assets which will generate revenues that can then be paid to the pensioners. And each one of us, that day is going to come when you will need that extra penny uh, to survive. So I urge all employers, I urge all employees to demand their rights in terms of ensuring that they do have a NASA number and to ensure that their employees, their employers, do actually remit. And NASA does have a service, actually, where they can come on farms, agro-industries, to check whether, indeed, the employees in that enterprise are registered. What, what are the phenomenal uh, factors or uh, 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 cases which are normally found within the firm or the agricultural sector in terms of pension funds, uh, benefits, and so on? So, like I said, I think uh, the agricultural sector does not have uh, structured pension funds, except for the agro-industry or formalized like tobacco, tobacco processing uh, industry. So, what that means, therefore, is that each employee has to provide their own pension. Without it, uh, then they're going to have to rely on family, etc., etc. The wages in the agricultural sector for many, many years have tended to be on the low side. And therefore, it's very rare that you will find a farm worker, a farm employee, a former farm employee with any meaningful savings. Better working conditions, new policies aim to improve working conditions and protect workers' rights. Consultant Never Mlonga's insights. Speaking at the 2024 Council induction, Never Mlanga highlighted the importance of these changes, emphasizing the need for fair compensation and social protections for farm workers. Um, farm employees end up into, retire into destitution, ultimately. So what I would urge the uh, farmers, farming organizations, etc., etc., to seriously start thinking about uh, post-retirement facilities, uh, i.e. the provision of loans. Uh, this used to happen uh, many years ago, 
provision of loans so that uh, employees can start building their own houses uh, elsewhere because they spend their life living on the farm for free. But the time is going to come when they're going to be, when they retire, when they're of no use on that farm. They are going to be evicted so that someone else takes their house, uh, whichever room they were occupying. So it is incumbent, I think, on farms, farmers, farming organizations to try and provide some soft, some sort of soft lending for their workers. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Pleasure.